Welcome to iLecture Online and here's one more example of how to do word problems in algebra using two variables. And so let's use the variables x and y and always start out by very carefully defining what those two variables represent. Let's read the problem real quick. It says here that we have two angles that are supplementary and the measure of one is 20 degrees less than three times the other. Find each angle. All right. Well, first of all, you need to know what supplementary means. And I always get that confused with complementary. So what's supplementary, what's complementary? It turns out that in the alphabet, since C appears before S, a 90 degree is smaller than 180 degrees. Complementary means that they add up to 90 degrees. And supplementary means that they add up to 180 degrees. That's how I remember it. Matter of fact, to tell you a little secret, I just figured that out after all these years. So finally, I know that supplementary means 180 degrees and when they're added together. So we write let x equal, hmm, there's two angles, so let's say let's act, let's let x equal the first angle. Or one angle, or whatever you want to call it. There we go. Angle. There we go. And so if x equals the first angle, then let y equal the second angle. There's two angles. You may say, well, why do I even bother writing that? Let me tell you, it's a good thing to do that. All right, so it says if the two angles are supplementary, that means that they must add up to 180 degrees. That means x plus y equal 180. Okay, there's our first equation. Now, to get the second equation, they give us the information that says that the measure of one is 20 degrees less than three times the other. Now, does it really matter which one I take as one and which one I take as the other? Not really. We're going to get to two angles one way or the other. So we can say let x equal 20 degrees less than three times the other. So three times the other, if x is the one, then y is the other, and then 3y is three times the other, and then 20 degrees less, then I subtract 20 from that, which means that x is 20 degrees less than three times the other. And there's my second equation. Now I can solve those two equations simultaneously. And since I have one equation already in terms of the other, I mean one variable in terms of the other variable, I can take this and substitute that in for x on the other equation. When I do that, my first equation becomes, instead of x, I write 3y minus 20 plus y equals 180. I keep all the y's on one side, all the numbers on the other side, so 3y plus y is equal to 180 plus 20. Combining like terms on both sides of the equation, I get 4y is equal to 200. And then moving up here, so we had 4y equals 200. And now I divide both sides of the equation by the coefficient in front of y, so divide this by 4, divide this by 4, and I get y equals 50. So that would mean that one of my angles, I call the second angle, is equal to 50 degrees. So how do I find the first angle? Well, going back to this equation, since they're supplementary, if they add up to 180 degrees and one of them is 50, that means the other one has to be 130 degrees. Or I can just plug it right in here. I can say, all right, plug the y equals 50 into my equation here. So this is equal to 3 times 50 minus 20, which is equal to 150 minus 20, which of course is equal to 130, which means that the first angle I chose has to be 130 degrees. Again, it doesn't matter which way it went, as long as they both add to 50, I mean to 180, so one is 50, the other one is 130 degrees. And that's how you solve problems like that.